hoping to win back a larger share of the market. CNN technology correspondent Rick Lockridge reports. In the cutthroat video game industry, one word seems to be all-powerful. The graphics. The graphics. The graphics. Better graphics means it's more realistic. And embattled Sega's new Dreamcast video game console is graphically better. The first home unit able to handle 128 computer bits of data at once. Twice as much as the Sony PlayStation and Nintendo 64 machines that dominate the $12 billion a year U.S. video game market. 60 frames a second, which is twice the speed of a TV. It equals graphics you've never seen before. When you watch a football game, it looks like you're watching a real game on TV. Video game images are made up of tiny polygons. Dreamcast can draw 3 million of those polygons a second, up to 15 times more than competing systems. Does that make that much of a difference to a player? Yes, it does. It's more exciting. It's really smooth. I didn't see any errors. Sega's errors as a company, though, have been well documented. Its last home console flopped, and it's seen its market share plummet from more than 50% to about 1%. Can Dreamcast end Sega's nightmare? They have a lot of a lot banking on, on the Dreamcast. Again, they're a leap. It's, it's sort of a leap in, in video game technology, and Sega's going to use this to make a comeback into the marketplace. The $199 Dreamcast comes with a built-in modem, making it the first set built for online gaming. 18 games will be available right away. You can fight, fish, or skateboard. There's also a much-anticipated football game, NFL Y2K. Which, to quote all the media today, is saying this is by far the best sports simulator ever brought to gaming. Sonic will have to run pretty fast to catch Nintendo and Sony, but Sega's off to a good start there, having already pre-sold 300,000 of the Dreamcast consoles. The company hopes to sell a million units by Christmas. Rick Lockridge, CNN, Los Angeles.